Welcome to The Traveling Marketer. My name is Marielle. If you are new to this channel, we post a video every week about things that I enjoy that I hope you do too. Travel, fashion, food, and career. I'm a B2B marketer based here in Sydney, working in tech, and I started The Traveling Marketer, this YouTube channel, about a couple of months ago during Sydney's lockdown 2.0. And here we are doing Vlogmas, I am so excited for the holidays. Christmas and New Year's are really the best time of the year. And since I am new to this, I'll also get to practice my editing and my vlogging skills because I will be posting a video daily. And yes, I will not stop on Christmas day. I'm posting from the 1st to the 31st of December. And this is because growing up in the Philippines, my religion didn't, my family's religion didn't really celebrate Christmas. So New Year is a big part of me growing up. And what can you expect from Vlogmas? I will be, we will be eating out a lot. We'll do some shopping. I'll show you how I work from home. I'll show you my a day in the life of a marketer and I'll work from home from different perspective. There are days when it's back-to-back -back meetings. There are days when it's not. I'll show you around Sydney and Bondi as well. All right, so we're going to start our day now. We are actually going to have brunch at Bar Fu. <laughs> how do you pronounce it, Wade? You can't hear him. He's not answering. All right, okay, so we're going to Barfer, but I am actually going to show you guys what I'm wearing today. So starting from my... Not very Christmassy. It is not, but anyway. So my hat from, very obviously, Balenciaga here. I'm wearing my Wade's first ever Christmas gift to me as well. It's a, it's aquamarine, I believe. It's my birthstone, it's a necklace. And their earrings are from my niece and nephew and my sister-in-law and I'd say my brother as well. <laughs> it's from Swarovski and then we've got my Apple Watch here. I am wearing my Nike runners. They are from many moons ago as well. It's very old. I got it from San Francisco in one of the outlet stores in there. My tights are from, my tights are from Lululemon. They are my favorite. The jumper is from H&M, yeah, H&M Basic. Um, and I'm wearing a crop top underneath from Cotton On Body as well. So let's go. I forgot to show you guys the bracelet I'm wearing. This is from Swarovski as well. It is sorted that blue thing matches my necklace. This is a gift from Crystal and Oz. So I think for my birthday, and I'm using my trusted meme copers, a gift as well from my sister-in-law. Can you see how many gifts I wear all the time? I barely have to buy anything for myself. All right, we found parking. Parking in Bondi or in Sydney full stop is not the easiest and not the cheapest either. But we could drive around the block, manage to, this is so bright, anyway managed to find one quite near the place so bar fur is actually my favorite fur here in sydney and i'm so excited that they're nearby i didn't know until recently that they had a shop here in bondi so i'm so excited about that and i will tell you guys why i love their fur so much and i used to have it when i was working at marketo in their winter garden food court store and i've also tried their barack or is it barack place um, store which are both I think both are temporarily closed at the moment due to COVID. You paid parking? We actually uh, can pay via an app. The, the liver thing. The liver, yeah, the liver. Uh, it is pate. The place is only doing takeaway at the moment. I don't know if this due to COVID, so I told Wade I will go and find this uh, table by the beach, and luckily I found one with roof and all. It's a bit windy. There's a table right there as well with no roof. It's probably better because it's warmer. But yeah, I can see him walking here now. So it's so nice. There are a lot of vandalism in this table. There are a lot of penises. So it'll be interesting. <laughs>
know I told you that I will share why this is my favorite pho in Sydney because you can add bone marrow for extra two dollars and the noodles I've swapped out for can you see that that's daikon noodles so it's actually good no carbs so it's actually good for anyone doing keto out there and Wade's having his banh mi <laughs> banh mi yum was that the pork or the chicken pork nice you like it chicken yesterday. You like it cold cold mm. the meat mm. the carrots would be and the pickled vegetables would be okay so we're heading to bunnings now to get a golf umbrella because we actually had two of my favorite marketo merch golf umbrellas and wade lost one of them i, I want to have one in the car and one in our unit it's a rainy season and wade oh hello <laughs> what did you think of your banh mi i was very surprised that the pork was cold but it still tasted okay <laughs> like the pork was just not warm like a roast pork type it had been roasted and then thrown in a fridge oh fridge cold Oh, as always, my pho was so good. They used to call it oi choi oi, but now it's called spicy lemon grass beef, which is, yes, beef. There's some sort of sausage that is so good, but they still sell the sauce, which is called oi choi oi. But yeah, it was so good. And the daikon noodles makes it really, I really like that one because it's just less heavy as well. So, all right, we'll take you guys once we get to Bunnings. We're back home now and that's the end of day one of vlogmas i had a bit of a nap earlier so i'm back in my i'm back in my pajamas and now we're cooking some dinner we're making some beef nilaga so for those of you who are filipinos you would know what that is it's pretty much beef versus uh, the main ingredient is an osobucho so the i use osobucho all the time because i want the the marrow and bones this one's beef nilaga we just basically boil it in water and then have some potatoes bok choy and some add corn to it and i won't so i was actually i was actually hoping to add beef tendon as well for this time around but i couldn't find that in our area but anyway hope you guys like this video and hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe and share it to your friends so that you can enjoy it together and i'm also curious to know are you more of a christmas person or a new year's eve person let us know in the comments we'll see you again tomorrow goodbye happy vlogmas okay let's do it and since I am new to this, and this is because growing up in the Philippines, uh, I don't know why I did that. And what can you expect from Vlogmas? I'm gonna repeat that just for copyright. Okay, so we're heading to Bunnings now. Yeah. All right.